please tell me about yourself. Uh, myself, Shannu Singh, and I did my graduation from uh, uh, from Hindustan College of Science and Technology uh, as a B.Tech graduate in CS branch, and currently I am uh, working in a uh, Mahindra's Home Viva as a technical support engineer, and uh, there is a uh, different uh, task, so we have to complete that uh, in the technical support, and uh, I am from Agra. Okay. You belong to computer science branch, right? So may I know which yes, is sir. your favorite language? Like which? On uh, currently, I am working on uh, Java. So you are very good in Java. Means if you need to give a marking to yourself on Java, how much you going to mark? Uh, three out of five. Three out of five. Because I am not uh, pro or. I don't know uh, everything about Java, so I will uh, judge myself as a three out of five. Okay, no problem. Uh, Shantanu, you have mentioned some projects in your resume. Actually, I have your uh, resume with me. So, if you can brief me about your projects. Uh, my first uh, project was a bank management system, which I uh, started in my training, and somehow I uh, show them in my final year project also. Uh, which is basically on uh, Java. Uh, we uh, made a bank management system uh, just uh, sim uh, same as the uh, same as the simple uh, our daily life bank, bank type system. Uh, so we uh, use uh, Java core Java mainly uh, because that was our first project. So we don't want to make that uh, complex or uh, that difficult uh, for us also. So we made uh, that project on core Java and uh, uh, with the help of our trainer, we use some uh, advanced Java also. And uh, we made the web application on that uh, bank management system. Uh, so uh, finally it got uh, completed in, uh, in my final year uh, project uh, work also. Then I made a one bank, uh, one e-commerce site, which is basically on front end, uh, in which I use HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and uh, for framework, I use React.js. And that uh, I make a online shopping uh, website uh, in which uh, you can uh, you can select any product and add to that cart and add that product in, in your cart and you can easily check out. Uh, that was uh, very uh, that was very easily uh, easy uh, e-commerce website that you can uh, see in in so you can see that and that's all. Okay. Uh, what is the difference between C and C++? C is uh, actually a platform dependent. Uh, that's how I uh, know about that. And C++ is uh, we, in C++ we can use uh, use as that as platform independent because there is a uh, compiler. Uh, there is use of compiler and uh, compiler uh, only, and that is easily to use. Uh, uh, from C, from okay. C. Uh, Chandra, you mentioned that you know SQL also, right? So yes, I would like to know what is left outer join and right outer join in SQL. Currently, I don't know because I am working as a professor, so I don't okay. get a time to take the record. But I use uh, uh, Postgres SQL uh, in DB work, which I use in my uh, job, uh, in which we use. Uh, uh, Postgres, in in Postgres, Postgres SQL, we uh, sometimes we have to uh, take the table out of that particular users or uh, of the uh, of the ATL which I working for. Okay. So we use Postgres SQL in there also. Mm -hmm. So I know that part. Uh, what we have to uh, uh, run the script, uh, query so we can uh, extract the data or any any users data in, or any transactions. Okay, so you know Java as well. So, what are the types of loops are present in Java? Uh, there is uh, four, uh, four, five types of. There is a for loop. There is for each loop. There is uh, uh, there is uh, do while loop, do while loop, and uh, there is uh, two, three loops also. Uh, uh, Shantanu, you are uh, working currently, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, why you want to switch that job? Like, why you want to join Infosys company? 
because I, uh, my brother and sister also uh, joined uh, Infosys as their first company. And that's why I, I want to join because uh, in 2020, uh, that was my graduation year. I uh, applied for uh, Infosys, but uh, somehow I didn't. Uh, my there was one uh, compartment in my uh, result, so I can't apply. Then I uh, try again in 2021. Mm -hmm. Then I didn't get, I didn't uh, able to clear the exam. But uh, this time I uh, uh, do some preparation and able to clear this exam. So I just want to uh, get in the Infosys, and this is my dream company. Okay, great. So uh, do you know anything about Infosys? It's your dream company, so I'm sure you have done some research about that. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Infosys is an Indian uh, MNC, uh, mm -hmm. and it is started by uh, seven engineers in the Pune, and it's headquartered in Bangalore. What is OOPS concepts? Uh, OOPS concept, there is a six, uh, six part uh, class, object, poly polymorphism, inheritance, mm -hmm. uh, encapsul abstraction, and encapsulation. Uh, so in the class we uh, there is uh, classes like uh, there is an object uh, first i have to declare that there is an object just like uh, in in java uh, you can uh, compare easily compare with our daily life object is like any pencil or rubber and anything uh, that is like an object and in class we have that properties of uh, of that uh, objects just like a, a pencil we can write with that or uh, we can uh, rubber by we can erase that all the uh, parts come in the class uh, there is um, uh, we have to define the class and then we have to define their uh, property also then there is a uh, in a, uh, inheritance and uh, polymorphism and uh, inheritance we have to uh, inheritance we have to we can inherit uh, uh, other property uh, we can declare uh, any uh, thing in uh, and we can inherit their properties in uh, in in afterwards also and there is a poly polymorphism and there is a encapsulation and abstraction in, in abstraction we, uh, we uh, just show the main part of that uh, process but we don't show the uh, what ongoing uh, what is uh, underwards is going on in that uh, that process part we have to ju just like our atm uh, we just show the cash withdrawal and their options but we uh, don't show the uh, mechanism of that particular atm that's all Okay, so uh, Shantru, one more question. Uh, do you know about DBMS? Yes, ma'am. So please explain me DBMS and its uses. D uh, DBMS we use uh, in our daily life also. DBMS is the data uh, database uh, database in which uh, you, we used to store our uh, data or we have to uh, store the information of our, uh, of our uh, programs or we can say the uh, daily life things. Uh, data is there and uh, so we use that uh, DB, uh, dbms in the our uh, projects also so we can uh, there is one platform which uh, we can store our uh, all the information or their uh, parts uh, in the dbms and we can uh, uh, use them and uh, use them in, in every part of our of our project also so there should be a platform that is dbms okay uh, Shantru, any question you have with me? Any doubts, any question if you want to ask? So, what will be my roles uh, if I uh, got in, uh, into Infosys? Uh, see, Shantru, you're going to join at the entry level position. System engineer is a uh, entry level position in the Infosys company. So, there you will be assigned some projects. Okay. First, you'll be assigned about the technologies on which technologies you need to work. They're going to train you for that. Okay. Uh, if they're going to allow, uh, they're going to train you for Java or Python or any new technology that they want, the requirement of the company, okay? Accordingly, they'll assign you the project. So you will get all the information about your role uh, during the training period itself, okay? So don't worry about that. It's a fresher, uh, fresher's entry level position in the Infosys company, okay? So uh, Shantra, actually, I, I'm done with the interview, okay? The only question that I have is, uh, do you have any plans for higher studies? No. No. Okay, and would you be okay with relo relocation? Yes, ma'am. Okay, sometimes you have to do night shifts as well. So would you be okay with that? Okay, I'm okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so TK Shantra, we're done with the interview. Thank you so much.
So guys, as you see, this is the video mock interview with Shantanu and I would like to thank you Shantanu that you came on our channel and you gave the mock interview. This will going to be helpful for all other candidates as well because so many candidates yes. are preparing for Infosys company, right? And guys, if you also yes. want to do mock interviews with me, please let me know in the comment section or you can mail me on my mail ID. I'll give you my mail ID in the comment section. So guys, this is very important. You need to practice yourself if you're preparing for any interviews, okay? So thank you for watching this video. We'll meet in another video with a new interview experience of selected candidate from Infosys company. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shantanu.